Our lives are dominated by objects, disposable, practical, aspirational, all designed for a specific purpose. But the design icons of today have at their heart the principles of one revolutionary designer. You might not know his name, but you can be sure that his work will look very familiar. Dieter Rams designed products for Braun for 40 years, and his rigorous approach of less but better paved the way for the designers of today. When Dieter Rams first joined Braun, they were a small electronics company making radios and shavers. Within one year, he had revolutionized their products, and his epoch-defining 10 principles of good design were already taking shape. What is the Dieter Rams idea about what makes a good design? It is when it is believable. Glaubhaft in Deutsch, yeah. Uh, and it should be not lying. And I was always saying, you can tell the companies who are taking design really honest on your ten fingers. And no change today. It's still only few companies. Apple is one. A lot of junk between. Ram's principle of honesty in design means a product doing exactly what it says on the tin, something that's been embraced by Apple Mac. Jonathan Ive, Apple's head designer, is one of Ram's most ardent admirers and even used the classic Braun calculator as the template for the iPhone app. One of the first time we had push buttons which are electronic push buttons. I hate all the word ending with ismans, functionalism. It's terrible. Nationalism is terrible. A lot of words ending ism. But functionality, it's important. And it looks so sad if you compare it, say, to today to a, an Apple iPhone. Yeah. They've, they've taken your design. <laughs> they've stolen your design. No. <laughs> no, it's a compliment. A okay. Ram's design stretched beyond the world of consumer electronics. In 1960, he designed the revered 606 shelving system for Vitsu, which has been in continuous production ever since. Its modular system allowed for endless variations and could be expanded to fit anywhere. I even have a 606 at home. The story starts that I become more and more books, so I <laughs> add something in this direction. And later on, I add this hole. And the idea of it to be to be a piece of furniture that you keep through your whole life instead of just yeah. going to Ikea exactly, and buying yeah. something that you'll throw away yeah, five years yeah. later. You should design furniture not only for two or one or three years. You should design that for your whole life. The Atelier system expanded on this innovation. The first hi-fi to offer its components in modular form, it allowed you to create bespoke systems to fit your home. And so when was this designed? Uh, in 62. And the first one like in components, which you also could arrange horizontal or uh, mounted on a wall. And what was the thinking behind making it modular, breaking it up into... Yeah, first, uh, to make it modular was when uh, people could buy only uh, components what they want. Right. Maybe they won't, don't want a tape recorder, they only want uh, an amplifier or the, the tuner. And the mesh, I love the mesh. And the mesh. Was course. that difficult to... Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, the technicians was very proud that they had the solution because it's a better... Uh, loudspeaker quality comes out uh, before it was covered with some carpet, a kind of carpet, you know, very... Uh, so the, 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 the tone quality was dump. Mm. Rams applied his ten principles of good design to every one of his designs for Braun. 
By 1995, when Rams retired from the company, millions of homes worldwide contained a little piece of his design ideal. Oh, I can't believe it. I had one of these and I never knew it was yours. And the tools process for Oral B. All your work. If you look into the future, where do you see product design going? The main thing is, are the people, not the things which people use. We have to look more on our natural resources, mm. uh, more deeply on our resources, and you should more think what we use, how we use things, and how many things we use. That's uh, important in the future. Wise words from a very wise man. Despite living in a world of throwaway consumer excess, Dieter Ram's ideals live on in all the best examples of product design. If we make things functional and beautiful, they'll be treasured forever.